Why is it always the niggas we like? This is my thing with this shit. It's always the niggas we like. I don't understand. I don't understand. Now what's up, what's happening, SK? We back in the Stein K show, got each sleep with a cut. Now I ain't gonna come out and say this shit is 100% factual. This on the rumor mill, you heard me? We don't know exactly what happened or if this is 100% factual. So take my shit with a grain of salt, I'ma say this again. Some of y'all dusty ass motherfuckers, I don't know if you just read the title or whatever the fuck and you don't hear the words that's coming out of my fucking mouth. Like Chris Tucker said, I said, nigga, take this shit with a grain of salt. We don't know 100% that this is factual. I'm just reporting on them motherfucker real quick. But anyway, hey, last guy, but big boy, I hope big boy, girl, you know what it is, you know I'm the kid. I talk a lot of shit, y'all talk a lot of shit, and I give it back here. But anyway, apparently, Don Tolliver has been accused of rape. Now, I like Don Tolliver. I enjoy the albums. I enjoy the music. I like his sound. And this is just, like, it's always a nigga you like. It's never a nigga you just like, oh, I knew, yeah, fuck that nigga, yeah. So it's a nigga you like, damn him? Oh, I fuck with bro. Always one of them niggas. But anyways, let's get into this shit. A woman has accused Don Tolliver of rape. A woman came forward to accuse Don Tolliver and multiple other people of rape and sexual assault. The woman who goes by Canna by five underscore on Instagram shared her story on the platform calling Don as well as his girlfriend Kelly Uchis. Calling out Don as well as his girlfriend Kelly Uchis. Don raped me in 2019, she says, and I have never said anything to, to anyone in the public until now. I don't care. He's very disrespectful and fucked up individual. If you listen to his music, please don't be my friend. Just leave me alone, block me, and go. I've kept this to myself, and he has caused me so much trauma and pain I can't describe. My heart has been trying to mend for so long. Later, she posted a recent picture of Don Tolliver and Kali Uchis. Adding Kali Uchis, you're dating a rapist. Please, I love your music, but now my heart is aching because you're with my abuser. She also called out a number of people, but for obvious reasons, the Don Tolliver accusations have had the loudest response. People are currently reacting on social media and wishing that the claims aren't real. If the Don Tolliver allegations are true, this is going to be the biggest fumble ever, said one fan. Wait, wait, Don Tolliver did what? Reacted a surprise fan. Don Tolliver has not addressed these allegations yet. Bruh. <laughs> it's up now again. Take this shit with a grain of salt. I ain't gonna say this nigga is guilty yet. We don't know. We all have seen certain situations happen that niggas have been accused of shit. It has fucked them up, but they didn't do shit. But that narrative has ran and it continued on after the recruitment. Oh, that I got interrupted real quick now. Anyways, back to this shit. Man, why is it always a nigga we like, man? What Don Tolliver did? He's been giving us hits after hits. But like I said, sometimes you gotta take the person who makes the music away from the person in general. Like, yes, R. Kelly made a lot of music. Doesn't change the fact he's scum. We love Bill Cosby in the Cosby Show. Doesn't change the fact that he did what he did. You know, we love Briss. Doesn't change the fact that he did what he did as well in the whole Rihanna situation. There's niggas that's gonna do some shit like that, and we ain't gonna agree with it. But at the same time, it's just fucked up when you know it's a nigga you fuck with. Now, again, and I'm gonna stress this, we do not have 100% proof of these claims. It's like the code of the kid situation, where a woman came out on social media and said, he this and he did that. Now, I was reading that shit, and I ain't gonna lie. Like, some of this shit Shardy was saying, I'm like, hey, hey, I ain't gonna care. Yes, she why. Well, her just saying that, oh, yeah, he did this to me like a year or two ago. And it's saying, I don't know why this girl's dating him. I love your music. Please stop dating him. He abused me. Now, I'm not trying to say, like, oh, there is no, uh, no, what's it called, value to what she's saying. And that she's just completely making this shit up. I'm not trying to make that or ascertain that in the slightest. But at the same time, like I stated before, in the beginning of the video, we have seen a lot of these cases come out where somebody has made an allegation against an artist or a famous person in general, and it is proven not to be true. But at that point, you already sullied the person's name, you already said what you said. Now, you might ask yourself, why am I making this video? Because I'm bringing light to it as well, and I might be spinning a narrative on Don Tolliver. You can say that, and you do have the right to say that. But at the same time, nigga, I cover news. And I ain't gonna be biased. I don't know these niggas from nowhere. So, hey, this should come out, and I wanna talk to about it. I like the artist as well. 
I'm going to talk about it. But I'm still going to sit here and be like, I ain't going to put 100% into this. Now, if she comes out with information or more proof, I will. I will listen to it and I'll break it down. But besides that right now, this is a rumor. I don't know what the fuck happened. And I'm going to still enjoy my nigga Don Tolliver music. By the way, by the way. Shoddy, if what you were saying is true and he allegedly did what he did to you, that was before him and Kylie was dating. So why the fuck is you like, please, yo, that man right? did that to me. I love your music. Don't be with him. It's like, she don't fucking know this shit. The fuck? Fans. I saw Sometimes fans, I feel like just because they know something, they expect everybody else to know. But besides that, it's a fucked up situation. Still. I want more information to come out. I'm not going to say she's right or she's wrong. I just want more information. Because at the end of the day, we don't really know anything about this thing. So as more information comes out, we can make an educated guess to see what exactly happened and took place with this thing. But yeah, besides that, bro, we're going to really see how the fuck this plays out, bro. Don, I hope it ain't true, bro. I fuck with you heavy. Don, I hope it ain't true. Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so, Joe. You know I rock with you heavy, boy. Come on now. Come on now. Hopefully this shit ain't true. And hopefully they can, um, what's the code? Get this shit resolved as quick as possible. So then you can put this behind him. The gossip can stop and can continue on with his career that is going very well at this point. Signed to Travis Scott, Cactus Jack Records. You already know what it is. Because again, this could just weigh on you and weigh on you. We've seen where Freddie Gibbs, that still comes up in the conversation even though he didn't do it. 6 9 that still comes up in conversation even though allegedly he didn't touch that underage girl. And so on and so forth. The whole Kodak situation. So we see even though that these allegations ain't 100% true, it still sullies your name in the public. You know, and motherfuckers gonna spin the narrative and you might not always recover from it even though some of these men these men were proven innocent and didn't do that shit so we're gonna see what happens shit Lil Mosey going through that shit right now we're gonna wait and see to what the fuck happens with that situation but besides that bro it is what it is so hey if more information comes out we'll cover it but until then bro I'm just neutral I don't believe it hey you have your shit we'll wait for his ass to respond he might not respond. You don't want to give energy to it. You might be handling this shit in the background. Who knows? We'll see what the fuck happens. But if more information on this bullshit does come out, you know I'm going to cover it. But yeah, I'm off for this thing. What y'all think in the comments? You think she is 100% in this? There's for Lindy behind the statement she's making? Or do you believe she's just lying and she want attention? She want clout? But anyways, I'm off for this thing. All I got to say is, man. Leave my nigga Don Tolliver alone. If he didn't do this shit, leave my nigga alone. He ain't bother nobody. He stay out the way he mind his business. Leave my nigga alone. But yeah, man, shit. Check the links in the description. My like, son, you see. Like, subscribe, help your boy. I help your boy, girl. You know what it is. It is the kid. You hear me? But yeah, I'm off of this thing. Oh, yeah, check out the other videos if you have time. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I, I ain't never be saying that shit. Anyways, Shlam, Zoom, P, Shalsh, Gang. I'm off this time. Aye.